need a new computer, man. I, I'm telling you what. I need a new computer. <laughs> 2012, what is this? The year is supposed to... I, I should, we should all be dead. <laughs> what? Coming to you from Charlottesville, Virginia, Willow Talk. With your hosts, Andrew Carter and Ben Fry. Will Ellis, my friend, what APIs did you look at for iOS 10? Well, Andrew Carter, I looked at the new uh, user notifications framework. Um, I'm going to make a little demo of some of the new features, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it beforehand. So uh, the big new thing I'm going to demo is uh, the uh, notif- one of the notification extensions. Um, but they've uh, made new uh, features that take advantage of 3D touch, um, and you get a lot of like customization mm-hmm. options now in uh, this new user notifications framework. So, so we've had local notifications, remote notifications before. Is this a new framework, or is it a, a continuation of those, like built on those, or do you know? Um, according to according to the Apple guys at WWDC, it was uh, a whole new a whole new framework, but it has feature parity with the uh, with the old framework. So should be should be pretty familiar to anybody trying to do the transition. Um, one of the one of the great new features is that uh, is that uh, remote notifications and local notifications um, essentially share the same code path. So that's nice. Less, that's yeah. handy. Less duplicated code and less uh, you know less learning curve. And I guess I, I bet you if like a um, if you have an iOS nine app that hasn't been made to use the new stuff yet, I bet you it'll still. It should still work for iOS 10, Keeping right? Keeping the old notifications right. still around. Like, like, like UI Alert View Controller. Like yeah. with the, you can still use Alert View for, for a while at least. So, Yeah, and that's, uh, that's almost certainly true, and you will get the benefit of the, the great new look so of, it'll look of cooler. notifications. It just won't do the new, the new, hot, the new hotness. You won't have the, the cool like, in-extension things happening, right? Right, right. Cool. Well, let's, uh, let's see what you made there. All right, um, so what I got here, I'm gonna hit the send notification button, and what that's gonna do is just generate a little local notification. Uh, it'll, it's got a five second delay on it, it'll pop up, and you'll notice that it'll do that in the app, and it'll do that in the exact same way as if the app was, if the app was not open. Right, so that's new, you couldn't do that in nine and back. Previously, yep. if the app was running, it just wouldn't even come in right. at all, your app wouldn't know about it. So you're, well, you're, I guess your app gets the call back to say this thing happened, but if you wanted some kind of UI interaction, you would right. have to do that yourself. Yeah. Okay, so you you 3D touched it there? Yep, I 3D touched it there, and uh, it, ex- it expanded the, the notification. This is what you'll get in, uh, this is what one of the things you can do with uh, iOS 10 notifications. So what, what happens if I don't have a phone that supports 3D touch? I think I, I read somewhere that like it, the, the interaction's coming to the other phones too via some other mechanism, but I guess that's not in the betas currently. Well, yeah, I was going to say we were seeing that on the simulator, it didn't seem to respond to it. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any, at the moment, there's not any way to get to that additional functionality if you don't have a 3D right. touch device. So just keep a lookout for that in the new mm-hmm. beta when that comes out. So um, what happens uh, if we press that button there? Yeah, so, the, well, so this button is uh, one of the, the new action, custom action buttons that you get access to. Uh, obviously, the what up button didn't come with it. I made that myself. Uh, and uh, through a uh, delegate extension on the uh, app delegate, I am able to uh, receive uh, receive the si- the signal generated by me hitting this button and take care of <laughs> what happens next. Now, these these messages are uh, from some another, another, <laughs> app. another app. Another app. Yeah. So you can tell this is not all canned. Uh, yeah. So so what happened there is. Um, Essentially, we generated a notif- uh, notification, and uh, the there was an attachment URL on that. That was a you know that was an app specific URL scheme, and the idea is that you can receive notifications, take that URL scheme, interpret it uh, how you want to, and if that means going out to the internet and downloading an addition, downloading other media like I did with this picture. This this is not built into the app. This was downloaded just now uh, from Giphy. From the internet. From the internet. <laughs> and beyond. <laughs> Indeed. What's the, uh, what's the rich button do there? Well, let's, uh, let's clear this guy out Ooh. first. All right. a fully That's featured app right here. This is great. <laughs> yeah. Now, the rich notification is uh, one of those new uh, notification extensions in iOS 10 that I was telling you about. So I can hit that and it should generate the not- same notification after a five second delay. 
Now. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. So yeah. did you, is it, did you, you didn't have to make another target for this. You were able to actually... This lives in the notification object? Uh, no, this does require another target. Ah, um, uh, shucks. This is an extension, right? Yeah, okay, it's, I got yeah it's an extension. And there, at the moment, there are some limit, uh, some limitations with that. Um, it's For one thing, it's it can be pretty hard to debug since... Uh, I don't know, maybe my maybe my Xcode foo is weak at this point, <laughs> but I couldn't figure out a way to actually catch anything in the debugger or even make it do print lines. Um, but you know, luckily the project, uh, or excuse me, the the target that's that's generated when you uh, create one of these, um, you know, has a you know, it comes with a working view controller. Right. And by the way, this is a this is a view controller just like you're used sure. to working with. So you you could share. You can do networking code in here. You can share models between your real app and your notifications. Like, so I guess you, you have you have full blown access to whatever you need in here, right? Yeah, yeah, all, yeah. All you have to do is is click the little checkbox that uh, includes it in that that includes a particular file in that target. So now, can with this view controller, can you get user interaction in there? And I know with the Siri Kit uh, extension view controller, you get there is no user interaction. Like, um, I. Don't recall there being any uh, user interaction. Okay. Uh, there could be. I didn't build any. I didn't build any in. <laughs> yeah, right. So, I mean, I guess you've right. got your your one up buttons, button, right. right? So, like, like in Ben's example, he had put a switch up here, and you can see the switch. Right. But if you, you press it, nothing happens. Uh, mm. But you know, maybe you can because you know that the the one if you force press on the text message SMS thing, you can actually reply back to people inside the. Let's mm. just let's take your code, Will, and put a little switch in there to see if we can press it. Is it, um, I guess it would okay, be... So, uh, notifications view this controller. Guy? Yeah. So let's, just, let's just put a switch guy, in there and see what happens. Right live demo. Boop. We're doing it live. I'll just put him right in the middle. Great. Let's see if this works. And our, our quick time thing is going to goof up. And I think you might be able to attach the debugger if you choose the extension. Yeah, we had... Somebody else was talking about... They were. I think it was <clears> the sticker. No, it was the... Um, Series. Somebody else we talked to earlier had the an app they had running weird. weird that way. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I chose the had chose the extension before trying it that way, and it oh, still yeah. wouldn't so attach in the in the okay. debugger, and that just might be a beta thing. Right. Yeah. And yeah. still working on it. Did did it run again? I didn't even notice. Let's um, do the rich notification. All right. This is killing me. Every time. See so there it is, and. No, no, nope. Okay, no. okay. Uh, so you can't make sense. Answer that thing. question. Yeah. There you go. Well, cool. This is really neat, though. I like this a lot. Um, do you know if there's any more? Is there like more granular permissions around this? Like, can you can you accept only like I don't want the crazy rich notifications. Just want the old notifications, or is it just basically like once you let notifications, anything's fair game. Um, yeah, I mean, if you don't want if you don't want to deal with crazy rich notifications, I guess then, just don't press on it. Yeah. Uh, so, well, don't don't <laughs> don't three D touch press on it. Right. Um, yeah. If yeah, if I hit it again, you can see I can just I can just tap it and it'll uh, work. Go away. work like and whenever it's requested for notification yeah. permissions, so, it was just the one, right? right. So. Yeah. Um, you also, yeah, when when the, uh, this shows up in the notification center, can, can you in notification center? Can you force press on it again inside of there? Yeah, everything works the same huh. the same way mm -hmm. everywhere. That's pretty so cool. So let's let's miss this particular notification, and it should show up in my notifications. Drawer here, there we go. There it is. So you can see we've been, we've still got the oops, should have these. Oh well, slide over functionality is not working right. I guess that works on the lock screen, but not this guy. That's well, it was working. It, oh, really? it was working working in the simulator. I should get a clear button, but that's okay. I can still. Oh okay, yeah. So you, like, you still have like that. Right. So if the rich one were the one you had force or three D touch, you, you would get the same. Uh, the frog guy, mm -hmm. that boy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's uh, why not? Why not demo that? Actually, we can. Demo it from outside the application too. If oh, I'm yeah. if I'm fast mm. enough. All right, here we go. Hit the button and uh, go out here. And should come in and there it is. Ta-da! Ta and open it back up. Open it back up. Load my <laughs> load my load my froggy. Loaded that boy. No, that's fantastic. That's really cool. Yeah, it seems like they they've really taken a bunch of features that um, not that they were half baked before, but they just didn't really do that much. And now, like, lots and lots of little improvements to functionality we already had to just make it more useful. Like, like the there's, there's, there's more reasons, right? Yeah. Like, 3D Touch was kind of cool before, but now it actually does some really neat things. Notifications got the job done before, but now there's a lot more you can do with them. So I feel like iOS 10 is like a major theme is like taking a bunch of stuff that was pretty good, and now it's like, you know, more fleshed out. It does more stuff, and it's, you know, making them more useful yeah. and more customizable. Mm hmm. Pretty cool. That's awesome. Will, is there any um, particular code bit you'd like to show us, or is it all pretty straightforward? 
Um, well, let me see. Yeah, so I mean, one thing that I that I didn't demonstrate because, well, the uh, they, they said they said this should work with local notifications, but I'm finding it's, it only seems to want to work with remote notifications right now. Is the notification service and the the uh, this is the other kind of notification extension. The big idea with this was that um, say you've got a URL that comes down in a uh, push notification. The idea being that okay. You're limited in this in the size of, of any particular attachment that can come down. I think mm -hmm. it's set like 4K. I don't even know if they push actual image files right. down at, at that at that size. But say uh, comes down with a URL. The idea being that you can uh, take the take the content, try and improve it based on what came down. So if it was a, a URL to a small image or something else entirely, uh, you could sub that out and then uh, and then call this content handler uh, callback with your your best attempt at the uh, content cool. huh. and that will uh, and that will appear very similar uh, to the rich notification that I made you get basically you get the ability to insert images right. into into this kind of so you're so you, you can sit down and take a, a remote notification comes in and then your app can say here's a you know here, here's some a good, bigger, bigger picture to show, and they can put that in the notification for you. Right, right, exactly. That's cool. Pretty neat. All right, and uh, yeah, I think that's about all I got. Uh, there's a whole, there's a whole lot of little gotchas and caveats here, but definitely recommend watching the uh, intro to notifications and advanced notifications WWDC talks. All right, man, really appreciate all the work you put together here. That was a cool demo. Thank you. All right, there go that boy.